Fincantieri said it delivered the first of seven multi-purpose offshore patrol ships, PPA, Patuliator Palavalente d'Altera, Paolo Theon di Revel. The PPAs are built at the integrated shipyard of Riva Trigoso and Mugiano, with deliveries expected until 2026, and they are part of the renewal plan of the operational lines of the Italian Navy vessels, approved by the government and parliament and started in May 2015, Naval Act, under the aegis of OCCAR, Organization Conjoint to Cooperation sur l'Armement, the International Organization for Cooperation on Arms. The multi-purpose offshore patrol vessel has the capacity to serve multiple functions, ranging from patrol with sea rescue capacity to civil protection operations and as a first-line fighting vessel. For the seven vessels of the program there will be indeed different configurations of combat system, starting from a soft version for the patrol task, integrated for self-defense ability, to a full one, which means equipped for a complete defense ability. The patrol ship is also capable of operating high-speed vessels such as RHIB, rigid hull inflatable boat, up to 11 meters long through lateral cranes or a hauling ramp located at the far stern. Saab has signed a contract with the Swedish Defense Materiel Administration, FMV, for the midlife upgrade, MLU, of the 3rd Gotland-class submarine, HMS Halland. The total order value is 1.1 billion Swedish kroner, $11.7 million. Saab will conduct an extensive MLU on Sweden's Gotland-class submarine HMS Halland, including an overhaul and upgrade of the combat system. The Gotland-class submarines were built between 1990 to 1997. The Gotland-class consists of three submarines, all which have gone through minor modifications during the first part of their lifetime. HMS Halland is the final boat to go through an extensive MLU. HMS Gotland and HMS Upland were relaunched in 2018 and 2019. The updated versions of the Gotland class are paving the way for the most modern air-independent propulsion submarine under production today, the Bleakin class, A26. More than 20 new systems that will be implemented in the A26 is also implemented in HMS Halland as part of the midlife upgrade, which contributes to their de-risking for the A26.